Hey guys, welcome to my very first YouTube video. Um, this has been a very long time coming. This is something that I've been wanting to do since forever, but I've been waiting for this magical time to happen to start it up. And I realized that if I wait for this magical time, it's never gonna happen. I will be dead before that happens. So here we go. The purpose of my YouTube channel, not only is it gonna be fitness, it's gonna be a little bit of vlogging, a little bit of lifestyle. Um, I'm a hairstylist, so I will give some hair tips and makeup and tutorials and if you guys follow me on my Instagram, you see that I, uh, I make my own recipes in the kitchen. I'm like sauce queen. I like to call myself a chemist in the kitchen. So I wrote kind of an outline out so I don't bounce all over the place because this girl I can't get my shit together if I don't. So, <laughs> here we go. I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible. I feel like before we get into all of that, I kind of wanna introduce myself, tell a little bit of my story from start to finish, not go too much into detail because you don't need all of that right now. You don't know me, I don't know you. We gotta gain some kind of trust. You know what I mean? So, hope you guys want some deeper info as we get into our relationship, I will be more than happy to share. I want to be as open and as transparent with you guys and not hide any anything at all. I have no secrets. I'm just going to tell it how it is and be 100% Mel the entire way. So another reason that I wanted to do this is because I've always had a fear of public speaking. This is something that I, I just I need to get over and I've been putting this off for way too long because I just, I don't like talking about myself. I think it's boring. I think it's just, I just don't like to talk about myself. So yeah. My name is Melanie Rivera. I am 27 years old. I am from the city of Chicago, Illinois. I am from a family of seven. My parents who got married at a very young age, my mother was 16 and my dad was 18, had five pretty badass kids. I'm a paternal twin. My name is Stephanie. I will, if I can, link a little picture here or tag her Instagram. Go check her out. She's a total freaking babe. Has two kids and fucking rocking a killer ass body. So go check her out. I love you, sis. Growing up in the city of Chicago, my parents didn't have a lot of money, as you can imagine, having five kids, being that young. I watched my parents hustle day in and day out to provide for our family. They busted their ass every single day. They both had full-time jobs, working in the city of Chicago every single day, thus very active. Um, I remember our you know, my brothers and sisters and I, we all have bikes and bicycles and we would ride throughout the entire city of Chicago just by ourselves, little hood rats just like running around the city. Um, we learned at a very young age that if we wanted anything in this life that we had to bust our ass and we had to go out there and get it ourselves. So um, I remember, you know, my sister Stephanie and I, we were little hustlers. Have our cousins and my aunts and friends come over and we charge like five dollars for like a manicure and pedicure and so yeah we we hustled we were little entrepreneurs before we even knew it body image issues came from a very early age what what does a perfect hispanic girl look like she's got a small waist and a, and a big booty right and so i was built very square no hips everything is just just square up and down it got made fun of a lot from you know family and friends and it was always like a joke that like Mel had has this flat ass and I always hated my body growing up and I always felt like you know this is the body that I'm gonna have and I'm stuck with for confident in my clothes I was always like trying to like hide or just like walk a certain way or like or just like wear certain clothes that would hide that part of my body you know that just kind of led throughout my entire life forward to when we moved to Florida basically you know we didn't live in the best 
part of the city, so um, there was a lot of gangs going on. We had cousins that were into gangs, and my mom, she just had one really bad dream that my brother got into gangs. That was it. Two weeks, we packed up our lives, and we left some things behind that just moved to Florida. So middle school was very, very hard as you can imagine. First day in the middle of sixth grade with my twin, you know, walking down the hallway. So we already got enough attention because we're twins. So just the looks, the looks of just like, who are these like aliens? Like we were aliens. So from that moment on, never felt comfortable. There was a lot of jealousy um, from girls, backstabbing relationships, but there was never really any trust. So yeah, middle school was a, a very, Time. Going into high school, parents were pretty strict. You know, we were we grew up in a church in a Christian household, so it worked a lot. So it was kind of it was a really cool excuse for me to um, not be able to go out on the weekends and you know do go to these like house parties and all the stuff that normal high schoolers did. I never did because we weren't allowed to. So as I could get a job, I got a job and I worked every single day. From the age of 16, I. I basically worked school and I went to work. And so I went to Starbucks where I met my best friend Alicia. We both knew that we wanted to do hair and this is what we wanted to do. So we both went into hair school right after I graduated high school. through um, this um, hiatus in my life I went through major weight fluctuations I started really partying heavily I wasn't eating at all like hardly and I don't even remember like the things that I would eat but they were little to nothing and I would just drink so there were um, days that I would do this consecutively and you know so I, I remember getting really like skinny and really liking it at the time like Instagram was calling it like heroin chic and so that was like a thing using social media at the time to like to hide this thing that I was going through and, and kind of myself look like this like cool cool girl who like partied and I just like that was just the image that I set on my social media so after partying so heavily and I didn't care anymore so I was just putting things in my mouth left and right and um, that came with weight gain I like stepped when I finally woke up and I went to the gym for the first time I stepped in the scale and I normally fluctuate around 140 all my life I've always been like around 140 I stepped in the scale and I was 160 pounds and 160 pounds like looking at that on the scale at the gym for the first time I was like that was when reality really hit me. I was so pissed. I was like, this scale is broken. Definitely wasn't. I stepped on two. There were two. There was one that had a little digital thing on it, and then the other one where you like shift the weight and it's like the scale thing. And so, and they both read 160 pounds, so none of them are broken. From that moment on, I just knew that this was the life. This was, this was gonna be a brand new life for me. This was the moment that, you know, I looked at myself in the mirror and I said, enough is enough now. Like, that was the moment that I, I that was it. That was it for me. There was no more, when is this gonna stop? When will this end? It was, that was it. When I saw that number on the scale, that's when I finally realized that I had completely let myself go. And if I continued onto that path, I was either going to die or it just wasn't going to be good. So that was it for me. And so every single day, day in and day out, I went to the gym in the mornings and did cardio before work. And then after work, I went to the gym that was near to the salon and I went every single day and you know at the time Instagram was talking about squat to grow a booty so you better believe on leg day which was like every other day I did this like crazy squat variation and I, I put up a video on my Instagram of what I would do literally every I would I would start with that it was like 20 minutes of this like intense um, like 
there's four different exercises and I'll link it down below because it's actually a really good one. Uh, but I would start my leg days off with that and I would just go ham, you know, every single day. But I, I needed to. That's the kind of person I am. I give all or nothing at all. There's never an in-between with me. So I hustled every single day. The first couple years, they were rough, you know, like having to fight that demon off every single day leaving work like that demon that was like no go get a drink just go get a drink you know you want to you know it's like something that i you know after work it was something that i did forever so like having to fight that demon out of my head and instead drag my ass to the gym it was not easy it was not easy at all but I did it. I just had to do it and I just wouldn't give myself an option. On my weekends, I still allow myself to party and I still do. I still enjoy, you know, alcohol on my weekends, but I can now. I'm in control of it. I'm in control of how much and I, I know when to stop and I know when I'm happy. Whereas then, you know, it was completely controlling me. There were a couple times that I slipped. There was one really bad incident that I don't, you know, I won't talk about right now, we can talk about later, but there was definite bumps in the road, and so it was never always smooth and easy, and um, we're almost four years in now into my journey, and I just, I have a lot to say, I have a lot on my mind, I just want to help any of you that are out there that feel alone and are struggling with the same thing, relate to being in a struggle and feeling lost and feeling hopeless you have no control I'm here to tell you that you do have control you have one life and you deserve to live this one life the absolute best that you possibly can when you finally decide that you want change and you believe in yourself that you can change you will all right guys so if you have lasted this long thank you so much I I uh, hope you guys stay. If you like the video, please like the video and subscribe. And I can't wait to continue on this journey with you guys. And I think it'll be really fun. I think you guys will really like the, uh, the content that I'm going to bring to you. So have an amazing evening or day, whatever time it is. I love you all. See you soon. Bye.